To suggest that a university bend the rules and keep an athlete enrolled simply because it will be a better asset to the team is irresponsible. The Director of Admissions at the University of Michigan, Clifford Shergon, suggests that no university ought to ever contemplate the admission of a student who cannot read or write. The university says it justifies these exemptions because it is giving more of a chance to student athletes who other, otherwise would not have one. Even so, it is unclear how many of these students would actually ever graduate on their own. At nearly all American colleges and universities, athletes get some sort of specialized physical, nutritional, psychological, and academic accommodations. Oftentimes, the standard of admissions for athletes are lowered. Financial rewards are rewarded to them. But the privileges don't end there. Many schools offer special tutoring for athletes to help them earn the grades that ensure eligibility for competition. These individuals also routinely have access to early registration so they can choose classes that won't conflict with their practices. In addition, professors are also often expected to make accommodations for, this, for these athletes when they miss class and for exams because of their games or practices. Student athletes may even get free books and enhanced food programs. They can also benefit from university officials looking the other way or instituting only mild punishments when it comes to inappropriate or criminal behavior on campus. In order to form a positive working community, all the members within the community need to have equal roles. Athletes and regular students need to be treated equally. Athletes should not be given extra privileges, extra resources. They should not be able to change their grades just to play in the next upcoming game. They should not be able to repeat courses just because of the status that they hold. We should all be treated as equal.